All right, we're here with Gretna head coach Michael, uh, fresh off um, another appearance in the state championship game. You guys are on kind of a really good run at Gretna. Speak on just what this last year meant, and obviously the community is going to change a little bit now with the two high schools, but still a lot of exciting things going on with the Dragons. Right. Uh, you know, another good year for, for us and, and uh, um, the kids, you know, just, uh, you know, continuing to kind of buy into, you know, what we're doing and, and uh, you know, getting some confidence. And, and so, you know, the community is, you know, pretty special there at Gretna. And, and so that, uh, you know, it's, it's a fun process to be a part of, to, to, you know, for the kids to be able to have that support, for us coaches to have that support. And um, so, you know, it's, it, uh, you know, You know, it's 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 hard to put in words as far as a split goes because it's it's a uh, it's good for the school, it's good for the district because of the, the amount of growth. But uh, you know, everybody's pretty tight, and so it'll be it'll be you know something to just have to get through, and, and in the long run, it'll be good for the community and everything else. But uh, just uh, there'll be some you know just growing some growing pains there. Yeah, and obviously now Gretna football without Zane Flores too. That's another new chapter um, to, to move forward. I mean. Your program has been outstanding the last few years. I mean, how do you take that next step and kind of reload without one of the best quarterbacks that's ever played in the state? Right. You just got to go back to work. Um, you know, he's he's pretty special, and you know, and then a lot of kids in that class were were, were a big part of what we've done. And um, you know, we uh, we've we've gotten a, a you know a good culture going um, with our kids and with our coaches, and so we're excited to you know to take take the step with the split, you know, and, and, you know, and, and not having Zane, it's, you know, there's some big shoes to fill, but we get some, some kids that are, that are ready to play and, you know, kind of been, been waiting to get that opportunity. And, and so, um, you know, it's, it's for us, it's, we're not changing anything, you know, we're going to still do what we do and, and uh, just go back to work. And then obviously um, you, you look at what you bring back, you know, you've got a lot of good players in your program, but you got a really promising young lineman and uh, Calvin Jansen, um, when you look at him, 6'4", 270, um, going into his junior season, uh, what kind of upside and potential do you see in Calvin? He, he's got a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of potential. Um, obviously, the size, um, the frame, you know, he's in, in you know, those, those are things that, you know, obviously stand out right away. And um, some things that are intangibles that the, you know, uh, the next level likes. Uh, but he's, he's great with his feet and his hands. You know, he ended up starting as a sophomore for us this year, and and uh, and I just went back and you know watching film on him. He he, he really finishes blocks well, and uh, I think that's only going to get better as he, you know, gets more experience. You know, gets you know stronger. You know, works on his technique more, and um, you know, so there's a big upside for for Calvin. So I started last year for Gretna. It was a really good season, and I'm hoping to play left tackle next year after Mason Coleman going to Nebraska. So. Yeah, having a guy like Mason and even Zane Flores, I mean, just older veterans that won a lot are going to be Division One players. What did you learn from those guys? And kind of now it's your turn to take the torch and, and lead Gretna football. They're great leaders. And I'm, I'm hoping to be a leader next year and fill the left tackle position. So, How much weight have you added in the last two years? Have you gotten pretty big? About 40 pounds, 40 pounds. Yeah. So yeah. as a freshman, you were about 210? Yeah, 220, 220 yeah. And so, I mean, you, you'll be 300 within two years, I'd imagine, fairly easily. Yeah. Do you, at college, do you see yourself probably more as a guard? Um, yeah. Just based mm -hmm. on your height and your body build? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, it's early for you, but have you heard from any colleges right now, or are you still kind of trying to get that process going? I'm still trying to get that process going. How many camps and different things are you hoping to go to this summer? Quite a bit. I mean, South Dakota State, Nebraska, K-State, and then that big Lindenwood camp. Mm -hmm. So... And then from there, it's just kind of getting that first offer, and then everything kind of rolls downhill. Yep. Did you kind of the guys that you've played with that are Division One now? Did they give you some advice on kind of how to handle things? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what they tell you? I don't know. They say I'm good enough. I mean, I don't know. Just get yeah. seen and. Mm -hmm. Well, Calvin, uh, congratulations on a great sophomore year at Gretna. Looking forward to watch you play as a junior. Yeah. All right, thank, thank you. you.